Very few defenses found a way to stop Saquon Barkley a year ago, as evidenced by this auto owner's game leader statistics recap. Barkley second in the Big Ten in total rush yards. He led the conference in rushing touchdowns, scores from scrimmage, yardage from scrimmage, and 20-plus yard plays. Not picture on this graphic, his squat total. He squats something like 600 pounds. It's ludicrous. He's beast an absolute mode. beast in the weight room. Now, I know I'm not alone in singing his praises, but the topic of this next segment, things that you do think you are alone when you say... And Penn State fans, beware, because you are not going to be happy with Jay Lehman's first statement. Well, can I just start this one off with a song from Tiffany 30 years ago? I would prefer if you didn't. <laughs> I think we're alone now. Yeah, that's <laughs> enough. Does it that's enough. Be any What's your statement? About? My statement is this, is that Saquon will actually not lead the Big Ten in rushing. No, you see, that's going to be Justin Jackson, because Justin Jackson did it last year as well. Saquon might be the most dynamic playmaker there is, maybe in the country, but he's not going to get the carries, because there's too many weapons around him. And when it comes to Northwestern, well, there's Justin Jackson, there's... Flynn Nagel, Clayton Thorson. I just think there's too many weapons. So this is not saying anything against Saquon Barkley. Absolutely it's not. It's more everything that Penn State has The supporting State has cast to around him. Exactly. All right. Dave, you think you're alone when it comes to what? I, I believe at the end of the year that Clayton Thorson is going to be the top-rated quarterback in the Big Ten. And let me tell you why. Fitzy gets it. Coach Fitz up there. They're going to play outstanding defense. We know that. But he has a running back. If I'm defending Northwestern tonight and I'm drawing up a game plan, I got to stop Justin Jackson or he's going to beat you. That enables your quarterback to, to make plays. And last year, yeah, he completed about 60% of his passes. It was a little over two touchdowns to every one interception. But if you look at the trend, the arrow on Clayton going up, this is his third year starting. I believe he's in a great situation with a great supporting cast to really take a huge step this year and, and end up being a top-rated guy. Do you have to find a way to make up for the production of Austin Carr? You're not going to do it with one guy. No, not with one guy. All due respect to Flynn Nagel. Right. Austin Carr is probably going to make the Patriots 53-man roster after nobody knew about who he was a year ago. They need to find somebody, some way, to make up for that lost production. All right, we've talked already about Wisconsin's defense but that's not where your next focus is on this one, Jay. Yeah, I think I'm alone in, in the fact that I think Wisconsin will be known for offense this year, not defense. Now, why do I say that? They got four offensive linemen returning. I think Broderick Shaw's underrated, didn't get a lot of carries last year, but was productive when he did. They've got the smoothest receiver in the conference in Jazz PV. And they've got Troy Fumagalli, the number two tight end in the Big Ten, maybe the country. And Alex Hornerbrook's going to be better. Year one last year, he had some struggles, got benched later on in the year as Bart Houston took over. But watch out for their offense. Their defense, as we talked about, has lost a lot.